there with James Ellerton. James, it's good to see you up on your feet, mate. Yeah, no yeah. crutches, no wheelchair. Yeah. We've been with you through different parts of the journey. How are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good to be, I'm feel, it feels good to be alive. I'm happy that I'm here. I'm happy that I got to witness my boys go on the track and finally prove a lot of the critics wrong. Um, I've been a part of the team so, for so long and was hoping to be part of the team this year, but obviously, unfortunately for me, I had a massive accident. So, um, ah, what a time to do it. They, they run 37-48, new European record, I think it was, and world champions, man, so I'm, I'm so happy. It must be, you must be happy for them, but kind of bittersweet at the same time, like you would have been a part of this team if you'd have been fit, right? Oh, of course, of course, yeah. And um, yeah, if I was fit, I probably would have been part of the team. And I think kind of being, being, being on the track with those guys so many different times and not getting what we wanted and to, have, to achieve it here makes up for everything. And I, I, I was the happiest and the most envious person in the world at the time because just to run around the track with those guys would have been amazing for me, man. So it's, I'm happy, I'm very happy. But at the same time, it, I'm, I'm like, oh, I wish I was there, man. You know? It's been a strange champs, isn't it? Because uh, obviously this was billed as a swan song for Usain Bolt. Nobody anticipated him pulling up in the 100 meters straight in the four by one in the way that he did. Didn't look good, don't know what's wrong. Um, but just a word on him and his contribution to the sport over the years. Oh, I mean, he's done so much for, for, the, uh, for the sport in um, sprinting terms. He's a superstar. He's one of the biggest sports, sports stars on the planet. And um, to see him go out like that's not nice. You know, he's, he, he's been a major part of the sport for the last 10 years. Um, so, but you know what, he's done, he's, done, he's done what he needed to do. He's achieved everything he's wanted to achieve, and he'll move on to other things. Um, and I think, do you know what, I don't think it's, it's, it's not bad for the sport. It's, I mean, it's not great the way he went out pulling his hamstring, but young people are coming through for the, uh, for the GB guys to relay like that and, and, and win the gold. Um, that kind of overshadows the, the, the bad stuff that nobody did want to see, which is good. And people can kind of move on with the sport now. So, What's next for you? You're up on your feet and that training. I see you on your Instagram and whatnot, but yeah. what, what, what level of training are you doing and what comes next for you? Everything at the moment is still just rehab, trying to get my body back into some sort of functional way where I can um, do normal things in everyday life. Uh, but I'm, I'm determined and I'm strong-minded and focused and I'm looking to come back onto the track because I'm not going to stop. I'll make it. I'll, I'll die before I don't try and come back. I'm going to come back. So whether I can get back to the level that I was at, that's a different story, but you, you're not going to see me give up. Look forward to seeing you make that comeback. Thanks for your time, bro. Appreciate it.